Hi, I thought it was about time for an update for my sneakier channel followers, my Gene Stealer Cult brethren. And I thought to highlight a cool list build option for Arcs of Omen that's going to allow you to swarm the board, steal primary objectives, and gain a giant amount of points back during the game. The reason for discussing this now is that in the latest updates, GSC have seen some really good buffs and potentials. Notably, cult icons are down 10 points per squad, making them pretty much an auto take now, especially in this setup, and I'll talk about that shortly. Neophyte hybrids get loads of free war gear. Acolyte hybrids, rock swords, and demo charges down to 5 points. Aberrants down to 27 points. Goliath vehicles get free demo charges, and a load of HQs dropped in price. A quick look at why the cult icons are now such a staple. During your command phase, you can summon the cult, which means rolling a dice for the unit that has lost models and then returning some. You roll a d6 and get up to a max of 6 for neophytes, and roll a d3 and get up to a max of 3 for acolytes. And this is per turn. Now the acolyte icon ward is down 65 points, you can use his summon the cult's ability in addition to ensure that you get those max numbers returned. He also has a plus one to charge aura, which is always handy. You can't generate over your starting strength, so having big squads that will definitely lose models anyway will make most of this. The new detachment is opening up so many possibilities for players now, not least that you can take up to 12 troop squads with a single HQ. Mass inventory and troop spam is a real thing, and this coupled with some of the cult abilities is opening up possibilities. With some of the cult you can add models back in during your command phase, and then at the end of the command phase you score objectives. You can see where I'm going with this. You can bring them back in coherency and use it to spread out over the board with objective securing units that steal objectives. So in a true G Stealer Cup sneaky way, you're grabbing points that you shouldn't be able to, and all because your opponent has been killing your models. So how far does this work? Unit coherency is two inches, and if you have six plus models, then each must be in coherency with two models. If you have three models returned, then you can add them like this and gain up to eight and a half inches. But at the least it's five inches if you have a big squad and need to keep them in coherency. With six, it's as much as 14 and a half inches. Now that's loads. Taking 10 man objective secured neophyte hybrids can really make the most of this, especially with being able to return six models and importantly, be more likely to survive longer enough to use. Definitely take an acolyte icon ward to maximize your models returned. And consider some cults can help units survive longer. Cult of the four armed emperor, plus one save for attacks over 12 inches. Bladed cog, six plus invun. Rusted claw, reduce AP one and two by one. Twisted helix, only wounding on three plus. Or if you want to help reduce falling to morale phase, use pauper princes to ignore combat attrition modifiers, or have a patriot near. Also, the clamorverse is great for 45 points to allow a unit to auto pass combat attrition. If you can plan for this, then the clamorverse can even remove obsec from an opponent unit. Could be perfect if you string out near fights to steal an objective. It's not all about objective grabbing, but in a list that's spamming troops, then over the course of a game, you can easily get 25 to 50% of your army back. This in itself is game changing. I hope you like this sneaky Gene Stealer Cults tactic and check this video out next to see what else is going on on the channel.